Hello, welcome back. Uh, today, I wanted to further explore the factory tech. Um, we are uh, moving right along. We um, did some of these last time, and so hopefully we can kind of get moving closer and closer to the end over here so that we can uh, move on from this. I, it's not that I'm not enjoying factory tech, it's just I'm, I know that there are better mods in the future coming around to do this sort of thing. Um, maybe if the if the gating was done a bit differently, where like, um, I mean, if I had a bunch of gold, I could just get into actually additions, which I probably should. But uh, I wanted to try and knock this out as much as I could. But yeah, the um, immersive engineering and forestry are much better at doing the things that this does, but yeah, so. Um, yeah, so we're looking through this anyways. And um, yeah, so let's get it going. Um, I did a quick search for this, uh, the, uh, the item we needed in the crucible, I put my helmet on, was a mixing blade, so. Let's head over there and see if we can get one of these. So it says that we need one of those uh, coop, you know, heating element things. I think that's what they're called. But uh, yeah, anyways, one of these. Yeah, heating element. So heating element comes here. And the mixing blade is nickel and iron. So nickel in the middle, iron in the rest of the plus. So we have a nickel there that we <laughs> tested our little furnace with last time. And there. So looking at this, um, you know, just some quick. Uh, I don't see the crucible. There it is. So just some quick usages on it. We can make liquefied glowstone, lava from netherrack, water from ice or lava from cobble. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we don't have to use blaze anymore. But uh, yeah. So let's put a bunch of cobble in there. See what happens. Yeah, we're making lava. See, it says we have 150, 200. All right, so let that go for a while and see how much we end up. I mean, we could do the math, I guess. All right, making circuits. We need a circuit scribe, and then we need to create all these etched plates. Okay, so circuit scribe. heating element, a cutting blade, oak or wood planks, and a block of invar. Block of invar. Oh, I had a factory tech version. Hang on. There. Factory tech. How do we make that? I mean, is that essentially what this? Invar. Smelt iron nickel mixture. Oh, okay. So we can do the dust form. One, two, three. Oh, we need a whole block, don't we? So, does this give us three? Okay. So I need six iron. Yeah, and that heating element popped out. Need to. Way of making those. 
guess we can just throw more copper in when this is done. Oh, my motor went out. Uh, what's the motor? Advanced motor. Uh, we have enough bits for that. Okay. In bar in the heater. Now we need to make more copper. How's that coming? All right. Oh, it looks like we doled our drill bit. Sharpen it back up. I mean, I do enjoy that this works without like any like RF power or something else like that. But it is annoying that uh, we need we need to keep replacing all the units. But uh, I mean, I guess it's understandable. I mean, in real life, it would need electrical power plus the, you know, the, the the heating element or whatever. So, I don't know where it's getting its electricity from, but it's not. Uh, we don't have enough redstone. All right, let's make some redstone. <laughs> Seven hundred lavas. I don't know. Can we just like? Oh, a used heating element. What can we do with this? Oh, we can smelt it back down. Oh, that's a. I want to do that. <laughs> I didn't know it popped out. Get a bucket? No. Uh, okay, so I guess it is consuming the redstone. <laughs> but uh, at least we get our metals back. Sure, I'm real quick on this machine though. My goodness. Oh, a mixing blade. Does it want to pop out? Alright. Looks like we need one of these. Oh, can do this. Bar. What did that aid that what was for the quest? The circuit scribe, that's right. pop out. Actually, I'll just steal you. <laughs> and then, oh, 
actually going to need another nickel for the blade. a lot of everything. Oh. Burnt wire usage. I can get copper back from it. It. No, not yet. I was going to say, did I get another blade? But not yet. So I need a motor. Okay, circuit scribe. I assume put these in, but let's see. Circuit scribe uh, uses doesn't say. Okay, what circuits do I need? Etched quartz plate pattern one. And pattern one, two, three, and four. Server scribes will etch patterns on so you can see the patterns in the blueprint collection. Okay. Oh. How? Blueprint collection. Oh, a book. That would be helpful. <laughs> uh, how have I gotten this far without using that book? Where's my... One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, part circuit boards. Circuit board is one of the most important parts. Okay, pattern one. Aha. Okay, let's go punch this in. Gray, gray, and a line. Gray, gray, and a line. This just remembered where you were. 
and then gray gray. All right, let's see if I can remember that. So those two there, and then the circle with the line through it, kind of. Ah. There, circle with the line through it. All right, it says that uh, is one. a bit easier so it's just straight from there to over and then a circle with these things on the edge okay oh it remembers now is there a clear button Let's memorize pattern three. Nope. Three. Okay. All right, see how well we can memorize this one. Is it same? It was almost like it wasn't going with. I forgot already. <laughs> All right, up over there, there, there. So it looks like a, like a football goalpost with a little thing on top. All right. So let's clear this out. So football goalpost with a little thing on top. Aha. I almost got lucky on this part here. I'm like, uh, it was something weird up here. All right, what's next? Uh, well. All right. Let's make this blank just so that we can. Okay, so this big rectangle here, all right, there, and then like this. Those two, that, this, there, there. Those two, that, there, that, there. And then these. Yeah, all right. So, in a way, I'd almost assume that um, you would want to have, I guess, each of these patterns set up in its own little scribe. Um, if you're going to you know, do it over and over again. Okay. Got that done. Separating gravel. Magnetic centrifuge. Allows you to separate gravel into iron and nickel nuggets. Alright, what is needed for that? Magnetic centrifuge. Two of these, a copper circuit board pattern four. And a centrifuge. Okay. Copper filled quartz plate. 
So I get pattern four and then put red copper dust in, red stone and copper. All right, so uh, let me gather all these things together and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm ready to craft this. Um, so the first thing I need is this guy, a regular centrifuge. Um, and I need this. All right. I need to smelt him up. Oh, it looks like he has to be done in the furnace over here. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Yep, only electrical furnace will work. Well, perfect timing on that. Uh, smelt that up, and then we should get the bits back. Use the rest of our redstone. <laughs> So I made another one of these magnets, and the one from earlier. Separating gravel, okay. Oh my goodness, okay. So wire, coil, and a magnet, or a motor and a magnet. Okay, so wire. Motor, I'm gonna need some redstone a magnet. I can do one of these. motor one motor one wire all right uh, it said gravel so let's find some gravel I think our best bet might be to get our grinder out <sighs> All right, so we have a stack of gravel. What does it do? It spins. Oh, nickel, iron, flint. All right, is that what it does? Okay, from sparkling ground ore, and get those ground ore chunks. Huh. Where do you get these? I cannot get them. Okay. Uh, where do I get this? Ground ore chunks. Oh, you know what? It's probably from... So 
there's a minor thing. Yeah, there's... Yeah, it was one of those things we could create with the drill bits. Yeah, basic ore from the void. It's probably this guy. Yeah. Fluids, compressed chamber, compressing chamber, agitating fluid. Compressing chamber means agitating fluids. So this guy looks like next. Fluid agitator. Huh. Well, that's going pretty good, actually. Looks like we get half a stack of each from a full stack of gravel. Okay. Not too bad, I suppose. All right. Um, so is that fluid agitator? Agitator. Ooh, uh, nickel, advanced motor, mixing blades. We've seen those. Stationary tank. Iron. Oh, and then those pipes. All right. Well, I think we're about out of time. Uh, let me check the time on the recording, and I'll be right back. All right. We are getting close on time, but I think we have... We can do this. One, two, three... I am out of room. Let's put this back up there. And these we can. Let's put these away here for real quick. Ah, uh, yeah. So we'll have to look at that next time. Um, I don't even see the shape of this this one here. I have no idea what that is. So uh, yeah, we'll have to look at that next time. Um, but uh, thanks for watching and joining me again on this uh, fun little mod pack. And uh, it looks like there's a little insert thing on the back there. Hmm. Yeah, most some of these have little inserter things on the back. I've, I have never looked at the back of these yet. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, trying to get through this factory tech. It uh, is, is interesting. I've never seen um, mods uh, do this exact t type of thing before. Um, it does look entertaining. Um, in a way, I want, I just want some more time to play with it. But, um, I don't want to bore you guys too much by, you know, going through and doing, you know, uh, just plain factory tech stuff. So um, I might take, a, you know, a separate world somewhere or just a, a different mod pack maybe that has it in it and um, play around with it. And um, yeah, so if I if I do that and I come up with a good uh, example of how to do I might do like a mod showcase or something on it but uh, yeah it looks super interesting um, I'd like to learn lots more about it but uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye